almost spooky month. I'm so excited. All right, so you know what that means, guys. I get to break out my spooky deck. Bam. <laughs> All right, we're going into October, which is spooky month. So I'm going to do your guys' spooky month reads which is Spooky Tarot. It's the same as a regular love reading. We're just going to use spooky cards because why not? I love Halloween and so I'm here for it. And the decks just get spookier as <laughs> my life goes along. <laughs> um, so, you know, happy early Halloween. Halloween is my favorite freaking holiday I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so we're going to do your love read. This is for Aries. Hi, Aries. All right. I've already smudged the whole entire house. My energy is popping. Let's do it, Aries. I am. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, <laughs> so I did a reading for a client. And um, so I have two tarot decks. I have my spooky deck. I have my light seers deck. Um, you guys know the light seers, this one, right? And I have, I think I'm going to use this deck, boom, which is earth magic and my gypsy fortune deck, <clears throat> this one. So I think that's what we're going to roll with. I might pull an Oracle of the unicorn card for you guys as like, um, you know, it's like a spirit message, but we're going to just dive right in. So, oh, let me, okay, but let me clear my client's energy. So one second, I have to use my bell. All right, so I use my little sound bell to clear the air and the energy of my last client. Actually, one second. All right, so. All right, allow me to be the clearest channel for source messages for Aries. What are we allowed to see for Aries for their love life for October? <clears throat> Aries, reading now for Aries for love. Aries for love. Connecting now to Aries energy of the collective. And to all the Aries that watch me. Oof. Your card just flew out. Wow, Aries. Wow, Aries. Wow. <laughs> I'm already impressed, Aries. Aries. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going, Aries. We got the moon and we have the lovers. Somebody's already made a choice about you. Wow. Look at this connection. Shut up, Aries. <laughs> we have the moon. We have the lovers. We have the six of cups. So this is a very deep connection, Aries. It's a really deep connection. Somebody's already made a choice about you, but I don't think they've told you that they've made a choice about you, which is dumb, right? Right? Right, Aries? You're like, what? What? Why haven't they told Aries? What is going on? Ace of Wands. Well, something's brewing, Aries. Let's see what it is. Let's keep diving in. Damn. They for sure want to marry you. Like, this isn't like a casual, like, fling. Like, this isn't a, like, a, excuse me, but F-boy energy. Like, this is someone, they have thought about this long and hard, Aries. They are committed to you. They've thought about having a life with you. They thought about marrying you. They thought about what, what your kids are going to look like. They thought about what it would be like to smack your butt when you're sleeping next to them. I, all of it. They fantasize about all of it. They've thought about a whole new life with you.
Wow. Wow. The Hierophant. We got the Hierophant. The Hierophant is... Look. Oh, my God. Okay. So, look. The Hierophant. This is the card of marriage. Okay. It's a card of commitments. We have Six of Cups, which is like a deep soulmate connection. We have the Lovers, which is... Uh, the Lovers. Hello. <laughs> um, you know... This is representative of a spiritual connection. So twin flame, right? Um, it's a very deep spiritual connection. I'm not going to say it's a, definitely a twin flame connection, right? But it's a, a deep spiritual connection, right? And it came out right with like the soulmate card. So this is possibly someone that you've er you already know. Like with this card, this is like the card of like nostalgia, like someone from your past, right? It could be a new person though because... We got this, which is the Ace of Wands. And this is like the, a new beginning, you know, a new growth, a new start with someone. Okay. So this person has already made a choice about you, but they haven't told you yet. Because the moon is like things not being told yet, right? Oh my gosh. And then we have the Page of Swords. This is someone who's been watching you for a while. Look at that. That's my watcher card. Oh my gosh. On the bottom of the deck, we have the world. It's getting everything you ever wanted, Aries. Oh my gosh. I'm going to pull some more cards. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. 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 <laughs> I feel like some of you are already going to know who this person is. Like... The energy doesn't feel secretive. What feels secretive though, Aries, is the fact that they haven't came forward and let you know how they feel. That's what feels secretive. If that makes sense. Like that's what the energy feels like. But it feels like you are probably or intuitively already aware of how they feel. If that makes any sense as well. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about this connection for Aries. Why don't we get a card for your person's energy? Let's do that. Can we get a card for Aries person's energy, right? How are they feeling right now? Like, what is the energy surrounding them? Knight of Pentacles. Look at that. So they have been patiently waiting for the moment, the right time to unload these feelings. And this person is extremely patient, Aries. Oh my God, which is the total opposite of you, right? You're an Aries, you're a fire sign, you're all fiery and like, I do what I want. And they're like, they're just like so patient and calm and they know that they're getting all their like ducks in a row so that they can give you this really great offer of love. And they're so patient about it and so kind. They have a very patient earth sign energy. So like Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, right? Now let's draw an energy card for you, Aries. What's the energy surrounding Aries right now? How is Aries feeling about this connection? Okay. How is Aries feeling about this connection? Wow. So two cards came out. So you're feeling very conflicted, Aries. <laughs> so part of you wants to remain really open to this connection because you feel like it's really, really great. And the other half of you is like conflicted about it. You're like, I, you're not sure. You're not sure about it. Like, so it's like you want to remain open, but you're also feeling conflicted about staying open, if that makes sense. Almost like you doubt the fact that it's ever going to happen. Right? That's so funny. Stay in good thoughts, Aries. See, like... I feel like you're weighing out your options. There's the seven of cups. You're like, hmm, do I really, do I really <clears throat> want to invest in this connection? And I feel like you do feel like the connection's good, but I feel like either you or maybe this person, 
maybe this person in the past treated you like you were an option and so you're feeling like you're you're there's a reason that you doubt them let me pull one more card let's see why is aries doubting this connection can can we see into that let me put these cards back why is aries doubting this connection can you show me why aries is doubting this connection Okay, so two cards came out when I asked why you were doubting the connection. So, in the past, this person may have judged you and said things about you that made you feel like they were judging you in a way that felt harsh, if that makes sense. But in reality, they've always seen a life with you like they've always envisioned it look at there's a ten of pentacles again which is the, the happy family card you know look at how happy they look right so they may have said something in the past which could have came across as um hurtful or judgy and you really took it to heart. Like I see that with this card. Like you really, it really struck a, a part in your soul, which, which made you feel really judged by them. But I feel like it came from a place of love. Like I feel like when they said it, it may have come across as harsh, but I feel like they only were trying to get you on a path to like your greatest potential, if that makes sense. So, for example, they may have said something like, well, I don't understand why you're working, you know, this nine to five job when you could be doing so much better. You could be doing great things. You're capable of, you know, you have so much potential, Aries. Like, I don't understand why you're wasting your time on mediocre when you could be amazing. You know, something like that, which, you know, an Aries would definitely take something like that to heart, even though. They're saying it because they're trying to help you. They're like, you know, they, they're saying it with love because they really see you as someone who has great potential, right? And I'm not saying that's what happened. That's just an example of, of what I'm trying to say. And it could be that when they said this, these things, it made you start to see yourself in that way too. Like you started to doubt yourself or think like, well, why am I doing this when I could be doing this, right? So... They sort of shine the light on your shadow self, which is exactly what a twin flame connection would do, right? They, they shine light on our shadows only because they want us to, to go to the heights of our highest potential. So it makes sense, right? Even if it's not a twin flame connection, um, it really feels like it. But even if it's not, this person is very spiritual and they have a deep spiritual connection to you and so it makes sense that they would trigger you into your highest potential by bringing light to your shadows because they're meant to change you in a great way and they've really envisioned a whole life with you look at that they imagine what your kids would look like and what your grandkids will look like and what you guys will look like when you're older and the energy is beautiful aries um I'm going to pull an earth magic card. Actually, no, I'm going to do a gypsy card for you. I don't even know how to shuffle this deck. It's so old and flimsy that it's really hard to shuffle. Okay, what do we got for Aries? Aries, thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for Aries. Wow, I told you, Aries, the energy doesn't lie. There it is. It's the marriage card. They have thought so much about marrying you. It's ridiculous. I can't even, oh my God, in the bottom of the deck, look, baby. They literally want to start a family with you. It's no joke. I'm not, oh, God, it's nonstop merriment. Look at that. It's, oh my gosh. 
Oh, Aries, I'm loving this for you. I am loving it. It's so beautiful. Whoever this reading is for, if you had any doubts about this person and how they feel about you, stop it right fucking now. <laughs> I'm done. Look at this. Marriage, baby, merriment. Like, it's, they have, you're all they think about. 24-7, 365, it's all about Aries. They fucking adore you. It's nonstop. The energy's nonstop. It's nonstop, Aries. It's nonstop, Aries. It's nonstop, Aries. They want you. They want you. They want you. They want you. <laughs> they want you. I'm going to pull a freaking Earth Magic card, a couple of Earth Magic cards for you, and we're going to be done. There's nothing else. God damn it. Look at it on the bottom of the deck. I'm done. I don't know how much to even say it, Aries. There, It's love on the bottom of the deck. Stop. All right. Oh, my God. I'm going to say it. I haven't said it in a really, really long time. Aries, get out of my house. <laughs> because your energy is too beautiful. And it's overwhelming. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, my God. Get out, Aries. Get out. All right. Here we go. What else is the beautiful, beautiful fire sign of Aries need to know? Looks like things are going well for fire signs crystals focus focus that beautiful energy my beautiful aries because you are a little bit confused about the connection and it's now time to focus on everything that's going good in the connection because they want you as much as you want them aries they sure do mountain strength so if you feel like you need to draw on some inner strength in order to face these shadows so that you can find this great spiritual higher love, Aries. Do not give up. Continue to face those shadows. You are so brave. Okay? To me, this feels very much like a twin flame connection. Focus on clearing out those shadows for yourself so that you can find this great love, Aries. Yes, you have the strength to do it. I know you do. You're an Aries. Oh, my goodness. All right, I hope you enjoyed this reading, Aries. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, all of the information is in my description box down below my videos. And you just got to click on the Goldie Appointment Fix link. And that will direct you the rest of the way to book your reading with me. Also, on October 7th and 8th, I'm going to travel back to Lansing to um, do some readings at the Gemstone Hideaway Hut on Kalamazoo Street in Lansing, Michigan. Okay. Uh, Sherry has been so beautiful <laughs> to invite me back for her um, anniversary of the opening of her shop. She's been open for a whole year, bunnies. It's beautiful and so i'm gonna be there doing readings for you guys please 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 <laughs> if you're gonna book a reading with me make sure to call in advance and book a time slot for that saturday or sunday because i swear i'm already booking up really fast i already talked to two people that are coming in just as a walk-in that's not including the people that are already calling ahead to schedule i'm gonna be doing i'm not gonna I'm going to, okay, so I'm not going to have time to rest basically that whole weekend. I'm going to be back to back to back reading. So you're going to have to get your reading in ahead of time. You're going to have to call Sherry, call, call the Gemstone Hideaway Hut, ask for Sherry, let her know you want to book a time slot for Chakra Bunny Tarot and she'll set it all up from there. Um, we're going to have to do it that way. <laughs> we're going to have to because... You know, it, my slots are already filling up and I just, if you want a reading for me, you're going to have to do it that way because if not, there's no guarantee that I'll be able to give you a read. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. Please, please hit the thumbs up so that you can help me to grow my channel. It's free. It's, it's freaking free, you guys. And commenting, liking, sharing, those are all free things that you can do to help me. And I appreciate it so, so freaking much, you guys. I love you, Aries. Bye. Oh, happy Halloween. <laughs>